Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, Vitamin C. Always a lot of talk about vitamin C or ascorbic acid. It's actually quite an amazing uh, vitamin or and molecule, ascorbic acid. And, um, you know, Dr. Linus Pauling uh, always said you got to take huge amounts of vitamin C. He was recommending like a, a six, milli, a six grams a day, which is a huge amount. Uh, you know, even a, even a thousand milligrams or one gram is a lot. So he was really into it, you know, and he said, wow, this is, you know, the answer to so many things. And I think there was a lot to say about it. You know, when a baby is first formed, uh, you've got, you know, you got an egg and then you got a sperm. The first molecule that the egg forms is ascorbic acid. And uh, that's one of the reasons why it's such an incredible molecule, the ascorbic acid. I really call it the miracle molecule. It's the only molecule in the universe that can, uh, that we're, we're aware of that can give and uh, accept an electron. And that's pretty, that's pretty unique. If you know anything about uh, chemistry and, and uh, you know, science, you'll know that, you know, either molecules donate electrons or they receive them. And there's no other molecule in nature that we know of that does both. So I highly recommend it. I think it's a great immune system builder. Um, obviously, you find it in things like oranges, uh, passion fruits, really high in vitamin C. If you um, you'll see it in mango, it's in all sorts of fruits, um, bananas, um, things like when you start drying out a powder. Uh, the vitamin C is kind of unstable, so it's not uh, it's easy to get out of a food. But like I said, uh, very inexpensive vitamin C. There's all sorts of people say, well, you shouldn't get the you know the synthetic you should only get the natural that that's true i'd rather get the natural but i would put vitamin c in my diet uh daily and it never you can't go wrong with it it is water soluble you can't take too much about it. you're just going to wash it out um so vitamin c for so many things immune builders i'd add it to my regular uh, regimen if i were you i take it every single day um you know i didn't used to take many supplements but i really learned it's hard through the years and why i take so many supplements is because I've really found that it's almost impossible to get all these things from our diet that the body requires. I mean, you can really try to, you know, I'm gonna, you're gonna get a thousand different foods to get some of these, some of the things that you can get uh, in a supplement, for instance, because we're able to put them down. So supplements are really something in today's age that we never really had before in history. And we're able to do things like herbal extracts and concentrate things down and really make them so much more effective. Uh, for instance, uh, you know, take a food like ashwagandha. Uh, I take ashwagandha every single day. I got some right here. Um, this is my ashwagandha. Um, I take a couple grams of it every single day. I, I never miss. Um, you know, you would eat the, you have to eat a lot of ashwagandha to get the, the feeling that I get from a 2.5% 2, 2 extraction of the willithinoids, um, the alkaloids that are in ashwagandha to get that effect, to get that, you know, the, the mojo, the energy and all the stuff you get from ashwagandha. What an incredible herb. One of the best in the world for sure, ashwagandha. Um, you know, so I'll just give you an example, or makuna, you know, I take makuna every single night. It's a 15 percent L-dopa extraction. Really, really important that, you know, for, for longevity because it produces HGH in the brain. Very important, uh, HGH, human growth hormone, for longevity. Uh, you'll see people that get over, you know, around 35, 40 years old, you don't produce any more G HGH. Um, you produce HGH about an hour after uh, REM sleep when you're sleeping, so when you're doing about an hour after REM or two, or two hours, uh, and one to two hours after, you know, figure, vigorous uh, exercise, especially when you're weightlifting, you're really, really tired. About an hour, hour and a half, two hours after that, you produce HGH. So if you're doing those things, which for instance, I do every single day, I always work out, that's good, but then I supplement with Macoon at night. But it's these extractions, these concentrations, and these supplements that I really promoted through the years that I find very, very important. And I added them to my diet. I used to be very much against supplements, and now I see, uh, like for instance, minerals. You know, it's almost impossible to get all the minerals you need. Um, and I've had myself tested, and I was really low on some, and then I started taking a, a full-spectrum mineral blend, and then, up, oh, I've got them all. There's all my minerals in my chart pop, popped up. And these are the liquid angstrom. You put them into your tongue, and it goes directly into your body through your sublingual duct. And that is, to me, uh, the best, uh, best way to get minerals into the body. But anyway... Um, I do promote supplements, and I do like vitamin C, and I highly recommend uh, ascorbic acid, the most amazing molecule in nature, and so does Dr. Linus Pauling, and he won the uh, Nobel Prize for that, so must, must, have, been, must have known something. 
Um, I guess I guess he knew a lot of stuff. I like him a lot, actually, Dr. Pauling. Uh, he's my one of my favorite guys behind Dr. Bernard Jensen. There's my real man. That's my that's my mentor. I never met him, but uh, I've really followed his philosophy, and I like him a lot, Dr. Bernard Jensen. Anyway, well, I'm Dr. Bob, Dr. Bob McCauley. I will see you next time. Stay healthy.